I'm Andy Hawthorne and I started The Message uh, 27 years ago. We started this building eight years ago and it was all about providing jobs for ex-offenders. So we set up this place as an enterprise hub, bunch of businesses. Of course, when we had Boris's big announcement, none of that was happening. And so we repurposed our kitchen and our whole catering operation and started delivering food to the families, the poorest families who were, you know, getting free school meals. And we delivered about 60,000 meals out. And then when the kids went back to school, uh, we realised the problem hadn't gone away. So it's a membership, £5 membership for the year. And uh, if you're really skint, you get free membership. And then it's £3 every shop and you can come twice a week and fill up your baskets with great, healthy, branded produce. Yeah, it's like doing a proper shop. Yeah. You come in, it's only three quid, but you get an awful lot of food for three quid to feed your family for the week. We originally approached 200 families in Withenshaw and thought, look, you know, would you like to be part of this? Pretty much all of them became members. And in the last month, we've now got well over 400 members. Parts of Withenshaw are some of the poorest places in the UK, and those places take the biggest hit. You know, respect to Andy Burnham for speaking up for the people of, Man people of Manchester and fighting for the best deal. I, I think he's one of the good guys and I think he's particularly fighting for the poorer members of society and I'd say respect to him for that. And I think there's a sense of across Manchester, well, thanks for actually standing up to central government and speaking out on our behalf for the people of Withenshaw. And even if by doing that, he got a few million quid more, well, that's gonna make a difference to some pretty desperate people. I'm a Man United fan, so I come from the uh, the sound side of Manchester. But I think even Blues would admit Marcus Rashford is pretty special. And there's a 22-year-old lad who, you know, grew up in Withenshaw, five kids in the family, single parent mum. And, and I remember hearing, well, I read something where he said that his mum used to go to Poundland to do the weekly shop once a week, and she used to have to stretch that out. Well, how amazing would this be for Mrs Rashford and that Rose Rashford family? and he leverages his influence and his voice for the good of the poor communities, people who are living like he was 10 years ago. I mean, that's massive, isn't it? We've noticed more people turning up who saying, I've lost my job and I've, I'm falling through the benefits cracks. I don't know how I'm gonna feed my family this week. We know there's gonna be, could be millions more people unemployed and places like Withenshaw always take the worst hit. So we've got to be geared up to provide a safety net, to help people, to get the community come, to come together to make a difference. We encourage people, if they can afford it, to pay forward, to pay for the next people. So many people do that and write a little note of encouragement. So we've got post-it notes all around the place from members and members are turning up, they've knitted a load of bobble hats, so we're selling them and, you know, and it all goes to help the thing and just little members making masks and all that, just great stuff without even, because Withenshaw folk are great people, beautiful people. There's a lot of people who have got money and I'm sensing those people want to give more than ever. You know, the people who, are, who have got it want to be more generous, so our, our major donor money is it's going really well and people want to get behind things like this because they're sensing the need out there. I'm relying on the people who've got it to help fund this so we can roll this out nationally. We're determined to do one of these a month and we'll have another one in Withenshaw soon and we're just visiting Longsight and Salford tomorrow, two sites of our next two and, and we've got a national rollout campaign because it's so desperately needed. That's a tiny bit of what's needed but at least we're having a go.